In this lesson, we're going to install this template. Now, this is the template that we're going to use. If you go over here to the demo.joomshaper.com and you look at the move view, uh, you can be able to see here the uh, particular template. Now, the reason why I'm using this template is because they have some already built in CSS functionality that instead of having to create all those things and add all those files in there, the template comes with that. The template doesn't come with all this demo stuff that you're seeing right now. You have to create that, which I'm going to show you how to do. So, but we got to, you know, get this template here. Okay, so to get the template, of course, once you're ready, have to, once you're ready, you, you can go to the site and once you purchase it, then you're going to get the option to get a quick start or just the template. You want to select the quick, I'm sorry, you want to select the template option. So once you download it, then you can come back here, go to components, I'm sorry, you go to extensions, and then you go over to manage. And then for manage, you want to click on choose file, and you're going to choose the template that you just downloaded. And then once you're done, you want to click on upload and install. So now you have installed this template, but let's go on the front end here. And if you notice, the front end still looks the same. It's very basic. But what we've done is we're switching from the default Joomla to the Helix 3 framework, which is also designed and developed by Joom Shaper. And let's go over to extensions. You want to go to templates. Now, when you go to template, you notice here you have that the Shaper move view uh, has been installed. What we want to do is we want to switch from making this one as the primary template to switch over to this one. So you want to click on this default, click on that star. And that is going to change it. So now let's come back on the home page. Once we refresh this, you notice that you have a different design. And I know that right now it looks all mess, you know, messed up and stuff all over, but you know, that's okay. We're gonna work on that. So once you've selected that, then in the next lesson, we're now ready to start to, you know, do some uh customization to this thing. So let's move on to the next lesson.